I just wanted to welcome you to Erica and her mom and say hello to everybody and to my grandchildren and great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren that I haven't met yet. Hey, you're so cute. Anyway, oh, sorry for the noise. Um, today, I spent most of the day working on driving for the Tesla to get my score up and I'm at a 99 and I need to be 100 by today. So anyway, so I guess a 99 will have to do. I may go back out a little later. And I came home and we did a little yard, I did a little yard work. I trimmed up some rose bushes. I only have four, so it doesn't take long to keep them in good, good shape. And then watered some plants and went to the grocery store. So now it's time to get ready for dinner. So what I'm going to make tonight is um, a chuck roast. I'm gonna make two, so I have leftovers. Chuck roast, and then we're gonna have zucchini and squash to go with it. So I have my dish, my spices, um, and let me just get the roast and we'll get started. All right, this is gonna be a little noisy, but it's for young, young cooks out there. Um, this is aluminum foil, obviously, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna line the pan with it. That way, when it's time for cleanup, you just pull this out. You might have to wash your dish if the oil got through, but you're not gonna have to scrub the edges and you don't get that burnt on line around the edge of your pan. So I'm just gonna smush this down and I'm sorry about the noise. This is the heavy duty large foil. You can use regular foil. This is just a little wider, so I get more coverage. So here we go. Make sure if you have long fingernails, and I don't right now, don't push it into the edge. Just use the back of your hand or the sides of your fingers, and here we go. All right. Get it all the way into the corners. And I know a lot of you are saying, that's not that big of a deal. But you know what? At one point, I didn't know this. And when I found this out, I was like, cool, game changer. Now I don't have to spend as much time cleaning. Because you can clean your dishes real easily and stick them in the dishwasher. But it's the pots and pans that kind of caused me to stumble. So there we are. Now I have five pounds of roast and we'll get that in. Okay, before I put the roast into the pan, I'm going to put some seasoning on the bottom. So I'm gonna put some onion powder, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. You saw how I did that. And some garlic powder. When you use onion and garlic together, it's always better. Salt. I'm not gonna put a lot of things in, in this because I like my roast to kind of taste like roast and not not a lot of different flavors, although there are a lot of flavors that you could put in um, to make this yummy. You could make it an Indian version, Chinese, Moroccan, Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, any kind of spice you wanna put on it, you can. But I like to start with the basic roast, and then as the days go on, it may become many different flavors. So here's my roast. I have it um, in a colander, and it has been soaking in water. Here it comes. I actually have two. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cook both of them. I think um, one is way more than enough. But if you have company or if you just want enough to last you, because I don't cook on Saturdays, this will last us through Saturday, and then um, I can turn it into soups, I can turn it and to kebabs or just about anything I want after that. Or, you know, a lot of times I'll just shred it and put it on top of our salad. So anyway, we're gonna, now we're gonna put lots of pepper. Beef likes pepper. I don't know if you knew that. We'll put this on, da, 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 lots and lots of that. And then salt it really well. Yeah, because um, all that flavor is gonna cook in. All right, so there you have it. And that is all we have. We have five pounds of roast in here, which is, it's, just, it's a lot of meat. But um, like I say, it, it lasts, it can go forward. You know, it's really good too. 
is to, once you've baked it and you're having it for leftovers, to throw it in a pan and kind of brown it with butter. Wow, that is really good. Okay, so now we're gonna pull one more. <laughs> one more. If this is just regular size, a little more foil. Let's see. 23 centimeters. So, all right. About 12 inches wide. We're gonna just seal the top and that's it. You can put this into your oven, you know, if you're working or you're going out or something and program your oven to just start cooking and then it will be ready when you're ready. I am gonna put this, I turned my oven on to 350 because that's what it normally automatically goes to. That's the standard. But I'm gonna turn it down to 300. It's already at 350, but I'm going to turn it to 300, let it cook for about three hours, two and a half to three hours, and then I'll check it. And it should be ready for our dinner tonight. Um, yeah, it's three o'clock, so it's a little after three. And it should be ready by, definitely by seven. So anyway, um, that's, that's our dinner, and that was quick and easy. If you're, Roast is too tough. Just stick it back in for half an hour and then keep checking it. Um, it takes a long time, so don't be impatient. Um, and it's gonna be great, but keep the foil on real tight. If you don't, it'll dry out and then it'll be like leather. So if you want it at the very end, you can take it out and you know let the top brown a little bit. You don't need to add any more juice to this. It's not like a brisket where you're cooking it for seven hours and it's got to, you know, kind of stay in those juices. You don't have to do it that way. Just dry heat. I didn't put anything in there. I could have put celery and onions and potatoes in there, um, but that's just not the way I'm gonna use this roast. So anyway, that's it for the roast. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of you that have subscribed to us. I really appreciate that. And I've taken the time to drop a note or click the like button. It really helps our channel for other people to see it. And I just, if you're watching this in 25 years, grand, great, great grandchildren, Pika loves you. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.